welcome back everyone, Toishas here, and I am back yet again for something brand new that are all hitting Walmart store shelves now, as these were revealed officially at this past year's WonderCon, but Sega, their social media, did show them off about one or two weeks prior. We have three new action figures based off of classic Sega video game franchises, and they don't really have a name, so for the time being, until they have an official name, I'll just be referring to them as the Sega All-Stars line, Wave 1. And at WonderCon, they did say, well, if you like these, they got a lot more planned. So hopefully, we will see a lot more action figures in the future. Because who doesn't love action figures based off of Super Monkey Ball? And who would have thought... This is one of the best in the line. Stay tuned, not joking, but he comes with a little bit of an oversized packaging. This II also comes with his banana, but it really has nice photos, nice artwork, all that video game goodness all over the packaging. On the back side, each one will be a little bit different, but we'll have specs for each of the different action figures, which is a nice touch. Of course, eight points of articulation for old II, and he can hold his banana because <laughs> that's important. Here's the barcode. Like I said, I picked mine up from Walmart, and if you check your shelves, you may be able to as well. Now, from the Streets of Rage video game franchise, we have, well, Streets of Rage. The first character being Axel, and he looks pretty cool. Once you have these in hand, I think it's a lot better of a situation. Also, do keep in mind, these are $10 a piece. And yes, these are through and through $10 action figures. But old Axel, as you can clearly see on the back, comes with his grand uppercut effect. He has 24 points of articulation, no joke, and the effect simply just fits over his hand. Here's the barcode if you wanna fight your way through Walmart and grab one for yourself. Now, the main one for me out of these three is definitely going to be Altered Beast. And the first figure from Altered Beast will be the werewolf along with the spirit ball. But it's that classic logo, that classic artwork now brought to life in action figure form. On the back side, we again have 24 points of articulation for this action figure. We have classic artwork. Everyone remembers that, right? Especially when he changes and you get to see the spirit ball in action. More thoughts on that in just a few. And here's the barcode if you will rise from your grave and go and find this action figure. So you can clearly tell this is gonna be one heck of a video. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Make sure those dang Sega Genesis controllers are plugged in all the way, those weird pronged things. Always a problem. Blowing those cartridges as well. We got a brand new set of action figures to check out. From Jack Specific, we have the Sega All-Stars Wave 1. So now here's everything taken out of the packaging. And let me just preface this video by saying, I in no way, shape, or form have been asking for action figures based off this franchise. However, for 10 bucks a piece, if you want to make these Jack Specific, I am more than on board. Anything higher in price point, I'm good. Because Axel comes with his uppercut punching fire effects. It's very simplistic. There's nothing much to it. It has great paint amidst the clear yellow plastic. Axel himself, again, to point out, this is 10 bucks. 10 bucks and change tax, wherever you may be. But the face portrait is not the best. Improve upon that, the articulation, the colors, the paint, everything else about this figure, I totally love it. I think that this is a classic looking, very 90s looking toy biz action figure in the greatest of ways. And for that alone, I absolutely love what they did here. Again, this doesn't need to be a 20, 30, $40 collector edition, anything like that. 10 bucks for an obscure Streets of Rage Axel action figure, more than floats my boats. We are good to go with this. I like that he has butterfly joints. I like that you can get the arms all the way up. And yes, he delivers on all of the articulation. Double jointed, bicep, the wrist, they swivel. Everything looks good and the paint is really good. But you get plenty of articulation in the head. You got bandana articulation, kind of, sort of. It's a malleable plastic, but I like that you can get him in all the Streets of Rage poses. 
that would be the most important thing for a Streets of Rage action figure. So with the double jointed knees, the foot rocker up and down, left and right. He's got the Nikes on. Those. <laughs> I love this thing because it was cheap. It's awesome. It delivers. You can do all the Streets of Rage poses. You don't need anything else. It's great. Now over in the Altered Beast territory, we have the Spirit Ball. Everyone remembers you got to collect three of these to finally change. It just kind of hovers. But what I would have liked to have seen, because it does have a hole in the bottom. Now I have a dozen of these because of my Mario characters, but a little standy. That would have been cool and makes me think that it was designed to do this anyways. Where's the standy? Jank specific, just throw one in the box. Costs nothing, I'm sure. But the Spirit Ball, very simplistic, but very effective. It totally rocks. Now with the actual werewolf action figure, you have something very cool for 10 bucks. Nice wash, nice colors, tons of articulation, peg holes on the bottom of his feet, although he does stand pretty well. You can get him in all the battle positions. Some of the sculpting on the figure could be tightened up just a little bit. Also, maybe a little jaw articulation. That would have been kind of cool, but it makes up for all of that in the paint. They painted the ears, the eyes, the mouth. He has a nice wash over the entire body. And yes, the articulation definitely lets you have a lot of fun with this guy. He's got the butterfly joints, he's got the bicep, he's got double jointed elbows, which is not gonna be the most attractive looking articulation. Sometimes you get kind of stuck in the arms, just FYI, but he does have, we'll say more of a waist swivel than an ab crunch. Again, like Axel, get the legs kicking out, the little spike on the back will kind of hinder that if you wanna go all the way back with the double jointed knees. He's got the rocker, painted toenails. You get the idea, the paint is overall pretty great, but again, just a little tightening up in some of the sculpting details Maybe in some of the ways the arms move, just FYI, but again, to reiterate, and not to beat a dead zombie, but yes, $10 for this type of figure with an accessory, that's what I likes to see from my Jax Pacific. Now, on the final figure, you get a banana. It's a very teeny, tiny little banana. There's no paint on it, it's just all plastic. Don't lose this banana. And you get I.I., but that's not all. You do get the super monkey ball. And it kind of looks like you put a quarter in and this thing fell out, which I would think is an inspiration for super monkey ball in and of itself, but it comes apart. It's two pieces of plastic and you get this little disc. And that is what is going to sit inside. And if you notice the two pegs, that is where II is going to plug in and that's where it's gonna swivel when you throw the ball around. Now, II himself, herself, monkey self, has really great paint overall. In fact, for a $10 figure, oddly enough, it seems to have a lot better paint than figures you would see for $20, $22 in this day and age. Just FYI. Minimal articulation compared to Axel and the Werewolf, but enough for II and you notice the two peg holes on the bottom. The backside, you get a little curly cue, swivel of paint, you get a smile on his butt. <laughs> The backpack, the shirt, the A, the eyes, everything is painted great and he holds the banana perfectly. So no problems whatsoever. But with the two peg holes on the bottom, you're gonna get his clear plastic stand here and you're gonna situate him and once he's on there, he's on there. That's what's nice to see. I can't complain about that. Get the two halves of his super monkey ball prison and close it up and you're ready to just throw this guy around. That is what Super Monkey Ball is. So just as I always say, with the Mario line that Jax tackles all the time, with the Sega line of Sonic the Hedgehog, they are really good at making toys that encapsulates the fun of the video games on which they are based off of. Out of these three, II is the best because he is the closest thing to playing a video game, whereas Axel and the Werewolf, they're basically, yes, action figures, whereas this, Yes, you can toss around, you can spin, he stays upright. That's a lot of fun. That is perfectly making the video game a reality. And for that alone, that is why II is the best out of these three. Now, if you were wondering how tall are these figures? Well, they're gonna fall into line with the other Jack specific four inch slash five inch type offerings. So if you have Star Fox, Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, yes, they will all go great. 
I, I, he is more in the 2.5 inch, but he fits more with the four inch. And in looking at other companies like Premium DNAs, Battletoads, Jada Toys' Mega Man Street Fighter line, and then we have Diamond Select Castlevania. Now, while Castlevania is obviously the anime, it all fits into the video game category. So again, you pick and you choose, you see how your video game displays want to be displayed, but in totality of fun, yeah, these all go together great. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the three brand new Walmart exclusive from the, we'll say, Sega All-Stars Wave 1 video game line by Jack Specific. Axel from Streets of Rage, who overall is pretty good. Just tighten up the sculpting on the face, but overall the paint, the articulation definitely makes the game fun on your shelf. I, I, the best of the three, perfectly encapsulates the Super Monkey Ball video game. And then Altered Beast, a couple changes here and there. Again, tightening up the sculpt just a little bit, maybe improve upon the articulation just a little bit. But overall, again, for 10 bucks a piece, you can't go wrong with some Jack specific Sega Genesis offerings. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Sega All-Stars. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, if there is a wave two, three, four, five, nine, well, which characters would you like to see Jack specific tackle next from the old Sega franchises? When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.